guys so in this video we are going to learn the model view controller or the MVC architecture in Laravel so just an introduction so I found this article regarding the model view controller and here is a good uh, model or representation so the M stands for the model C or the V view and C is for the controller so this is a software design pattern that separates the application logic so into three interconnected components on the model view controller and this will help organize the code and make the web applications more maintainable so here the model this is linked to uh, the database so uh, this handles the data logic and interaction with the database and this represents the data of the application now the controller the is for um, it's the middleman so it connects the model and the view and this is responsible for handling user requests and also returning responses to the user and the view and basically the view is res responsible for displaying the data to the user so let's try to check our application so, so this is the application that we have created and in the previous videos our video we have created the migration file for each of our tables so for let's discuss first the the model so this is the so it represents the data of the application and it handles the data logic and so it interacts with the database so the in Laravel we can create our model here inside the app and once we create a model so right now this is uh, the default when you download the Laravel you have this model so you can create a model for your uh, database tables so for example the products table so here we can run the command I'm sorry should be product so if we check our model so let's delete that one as you can see we have the product.php um, uh, model so how does it interacts with our database now if we open our database so here in the inventory uh, take this one we have the products table so this or the Laravel automatically um, connect this file or this model to this uh, table in our database so as long as you are following the correct naming convention so in Laravel the the if you have the products table you should use the singular names of the product the PHP so this will automatically detect that this file here represents the uh, this table in our database so in Laravel they have what they called eloquent so this allows you to easily interact with your database so using a simple syntax so here is an example um, so
so here uh, let's go to our routes on the web so on I will um, discuss this one later later so here if we are going to get all the users or data of this table so let's just so we can use eloquent so it's a built-in feature in Laravel so we can easily um, interact with our database so this is the name space and then product and then here we can use this and this will fetch all the data from the from that table so if we save and refresh so this is our Laravel application if we refresh sorry We need to run first the creation file. So unknown Laravel products. So let's see here. So I guess this is not the correct database. So now I have connected to the correct database. Um, here when we refresh as you can see we have empty elements and the reason is refresh inventory laravel so this is the laravel inventory database we did have a let's just log this out and then check so here we have the products table and it's empty so if I'm going to just um, insert so let's just insert the user let's just create this one and here in our products let's add a just random product so let's create go then let's add another product So now if we are going to refresh and as you can see here it will return us the data from our database so that is how the model works so now let's go to the controller so the controller basically it's is the the middleman so that connects the model or our yeah, database and the view so here's an example so for the default laravel if we go to this url so we have this web.php so it's under routes and web.php file so this is where we um, assign the different routes or URL in our system so let's create a new route so here we can do get so if I'm going to go post data I can do post so now let's just use get and then here maybe add users then here 
earn high so if I'm going to do users you can see it returns high now we are going to connect this one to our database which is this one model so let's just grab this one and refresh so here we have the data however what we need to do now is let's put this one inside the controller so in Laravel they are put inside HTTP and inside this controller so that we have a default controller but we can create our controller so usually for each model we have a assigned controller so create the command so make controller product and as you can see here we have the product controller so here we can create the function get users then here can have this statement so we can copy this one and then let's do the doc first and then here in our web.php we are going to update this one so instead of a function we are going to use this or call the product controller and then the second is the name of the function so we're going to use get users so paste that one so if we refresh um, let's start the server or sorry uh, let's refresh so it does not exist and you need to include the file the namespace so refresh and same thing we'll need to and the namespace for the product and then we can just delete this one so refresh to give us this the data so we have discussed the controller we have discussed the model so this one and now we're going to discuss the view so for the view can just grab or here on the where's that one sources then the views folder so you can just copy this one and then here let's just create this one as users that Blade so Laravel uses Blade template so we'll need to add e that blade.php in our uh, file name so here we'll go to resources and then to return the view or as stated here so from the controller we're going to render the data in the view so to call the view we are going to use this one and the name of the view which is users if I'm going to refresh so since we just copied that file let's just remove 
uh, this one fresh once again and then here we can create or pass the products now since we pass the product we can now get that data so here's an example let's get the products and showing the users that made at php as you can see we have successfully pulled all the users or products so actually it should be products and also as you can see if we hit a route that does not exist in our web page page will return the for offer not found so now let's update the product and here it is showing us the page so let's just update this one and here is a good um, use of the blade template so we can just use for each So we don't need to use or add PHP tag. Then here we can echo or use this one. Product that name. So let's remove this. Let's just wrap them inside each one. Fresh. As you can see, it's break. Mm, I think let's just remove this tile. As you can see, orange juice, book juice. We can grab all the information from the um, database so using this one this will get and echo the uh, data in our view file so basically that's it um, in the next video we are going to start working and moving the features from our old inventory to our new um, to this Laravel app thank you